Hello and welcome to the Sandbrook Adventures, where we're here at the Bluestone Resort, which is located in Pembrokeshire, Wales. We've never stayed here before, and you know what? We thought we'd come and check it out for the first time, and it's really nice, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, it's absolutely lovely. So in this video, we're going to give you a tour of our room and a tour around the resort. Yeah, we're going to have a little stroll around, show you exactly what it's like. It's a little bit like a centre park, if you've ever been to one of those before. We've had a couple of visits to centre parks now, we really enjoy them. And we actually just visited the Oakwood theme park which is located right next door and there's a full vlog from there over on theme park worldwide so we thought it'd be the perfect chance for us to kind of come and check out Bluestone I've known about this place for years ever since I've been coming to Oakwood but never stayed here so come and join us as we take you for a tour around now we've just booked one night here in a studio apartment and look at this, it is really nice and look how spacious it is I too. I love how big this room is and with it having the tall ceiling it makes the room look so much bigger which is great. Yeah it's fantastic, really nice colour scheme in here too, kind of fits with nature with the green and brown and yeah it's beautiful, I mean you've got this seating area just over here, the TV just off to the side and then yeah you've got a couple of wine glasses on there, the table. And yeah, two-seater sofa just over there too. I was too. having that in here because at least you haven't just got to sit on the bed to watch TV or just on two chairs. You've got an actual sofa which really makes it. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Now, like you say, we're just here for one night, uh, mainly because we visited the theme park next door. However, you do get access to the water park, so we're going to check out that. We'll give you a review and uh, yeah, of course, show you what activities you can do. It's like centre parks where you can book extra things, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, there's so much going on, so we'll be sure to show you. Yeah, they've got loads here, like, so it's a big resort actually. Yeah, we'll also show you something funny later, which we really like. Oh yeah, it's really quirky what you don't have at centre park. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, massive bed just over here, like uh, it's the morning. We've actually just slept here last night and yeah, this bed was so comfortable, wasn't it? Oh, it was, it was really so nice. so big, didn't even fill you once. <laughs> This is like the sort of bed I wanted at home really, something a bit bigger. Obviously if you've seen our home vlogs, you'll know that our beds are quite a bit smaller. Uh, but this was really nice. Like, it looks a bit like a Premier Inn with the, the purple on there. But you've got a couple of desks at either side, um, which is nice. And you've got your fridge just over here, which is quite large. Underneath there is the bin. And then yeah, you've got your coffee making facilities just on the top. And quite a lot of storage, three different units here. You've got the small one. The bigger one with a mirror just above, there's me. Uh, and then of course you've got the wardrobe here as well. I can't believe how much space you've got. Yeah, you've got a safe just in there too, which is good. Quite a few hangers up there. But yeah, I think it's nice how you've got the three kind of areas for storage. Yeah, you haven't got to worry about just living in a case, you can use all of that. Yeah, it's fantastic, especially if you come in for multiple nights. I think that's the thing, most people would come here uh, for quite a few nights. We're literally just a one night stay. However, um, you can stay like Monday to Friday, the full week I believe you want to, uh, and they've got loads of lodges and other accommodation that we've not really seen much of, um, but yeah, we're gonna have a stroll around today and show you all of that. In terms of views, as you've just seen, yeah, not loads to see out the windows from here. However, yeah, we're staying in like this little village. You've got like the little um, buildings just here. And yeah, we're actually really close to quite a few of the facilities here, um, such as a couple of bars and restaurants, which are right next door, aren't so they? it's quite handy having those there. There you go. I love how you sat on the side when you've got all that lovely seats in there. And you're all on your arm. <laughs> yeah, you've also got a massive bathroom just over here. Take you for a look inside. First thing you see is this amazing bath. Look at that. Oh, it's absolutely massive. And I went in there last night and it was great, that was. I, I like these baths, what are kind of standalone, you know, what are on feet instead of having all the sides on. That was great. Heated towel rail over there. Of course, all your towels are provided. And you've got the toilets over there and you've got his and her style sinks as well there. And also mirrors, which I really like this. It's handy, isn't and it? And you've got a shower. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, there's a shower over here. Yeah, quite a spacious shower. I definitely recommend these studio apartments here. Like we've had a really good sleep, it's very spacious, and what we paid was great. Like bear in mind it's summer holidays and this was a last minute deal. It cost £99 um, to stay here for one night. I looked at local travel lodges and premier inns and there were more than that. And bear in mind we've got this big spacious apartment and you also get access to the site. Um, you can bring bikes if you wanted to, cycle around. Um, that obviously wouldn't cost you anything if you bring in your own. You can hire them if you want to and also hire something else that we're going to show you in this vlog which is really quirky. Uh, but also you get access to the water park and yeah, just being in a resort like this, £99. Really good, I'm looking forward to having an explore. Yeah, definitely. So uh, yeah, we're going to go and head out now. We'll start off by showing you around this little area. In fact, we have got a full map of the resort just here, haven't we? So you've got the village map just there and uh, that shows you the area 
where we're staying. So we're in the studios just here. As you can see, you've got like this whole kind of area. What's well, got a tavern, a restaurant, they've got a spa down here. So we're gonna stroll around this bit first and then we're gonna have a look around the main resort. So if we swivel this over, you can get an idea on the actual size of the map. Now, if you like so. this exact um, room, this apartment, and um, we're in Studio 12, if you can request this one, if you want to book it, well, there you go, there's a look at the whole resort. So we're actually staying in this little area just down here, this little village. We've got the lake down there, so we're gonna have a stroll around there. Uh, and yeah, look at all the accommodation they've got, it's massive. Worth pointing out, you are allowed to bring your car in to unload and load up again. However, um, of course, you can't actually bring your car down and park it um, down near your accommodation. Um, it does all need to go back onto the car park. Same as centre parks, really, with that one. Um, new lodges come in, so we'll have a look at that area. And then you've got this area, which is the hive, the serendome, which is like a big undercover uh, area outside, which looks great. And the blue lagoon, which is the water park as well. So yeah, come and join us. Let's go and have a full explore around the Bluestone Resort. Yeah, I just thought we'd start off by showing you our lovely rooms. Very nice. So we just stepped out the door of our accommodation and yeah, made our way here into the main part of the Bluestone Village. Yeah, this is like the center of the resort. And yeah, when we walked in yesterday, they had some live music on just over here, which I think was really nice. You can see the mic set up, like this sort of pagoda style area. And yeah, you got all the seating just around here. There's a play area, we'll have a look that way in just a second. And yeah, you got all these little shops just down here as well. The Farmhouse Grill, which is one of the restaurants just down here. Newton Village Store, so yeah, local fresh bread, eggs. It's basically a mini um, little supermarket, what they've got down there. And yeah, they got this pub just over to the side here too. They do a range of different food items. Yeah, like fish and chips and more traditional style pub food. But yeah, it's got uh, lots of indoor seating and the outdoor area just here. And you got this little street. It's nice, feels like a little Welsh town when you walk down here. All the buntings hanging up, little booking office and guest services there. And yeah, our room was literally just above here, wasn't it, Charlotte? Yeah, it was above the gift shop. Yeah, so you enter the room just round to the right hand side. But uh, yeah, we were literally staying just up here. You wouldn't think we were above a gift no, shop when you were in there, but uh, we was. Yeah, we didn't realise at first. Yeah, so these are all the studio apartments just round here. All these nice coloured buildings. Some nice floral displays. We'll walk back that way in just a second and show you a bit more of that. And what the resort has to offer. Now we mentioned how you've got something quite unique here which we really like and that is how you can actually hire these golf buggies just here. I love that so much. We've seen people decorating with like birthday banners and lights because it's so hilly it's easy to get around on one of those. Yeah you put like a sasha on it oh, you know. So good. Yeah it's great and they've all got different names. At first we thought oh they print out your name the family name and put it on That's but no they're, nice. they're all names. But yeah how cool is this? They've got like a wind chime or on that one that. down there. Yeah look at these yeah literally you hire them in and uh, yeah, you can hire them for the day or for your duration of your stay um, here at Bluestone, which is awesome. Yeah, how cool is that? that. <laughs> we wanted to get on one, didn't we? Oh, <laughs> and yeah, you've got the well spa just here. Mind, body and soul. Yeah, a little spa they've got just here. Yeah, you've also got the play area just over here too. Yeah, quite a large area. Yeah, there's like little houses all the way around at the side. Yeah, it's a really nice setup all around here. The village green. So you got some entertainment going on for the kids here, like a treasure hunt or something like that maybe? Except the coffee shop just behind it too. Oh yeah, Bugsy the Hobbit is the most beautiful Hobbit in the world. Oh, yeah, Bugsy the Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, all the little coffee shop. What do you mean it's too long? Okay, well. What you got there, Charlotte? A little dairy thing. There you go, dairy snackers. Yeah. <laughs> Really like this village area, all the buildings are lovely, all painted up. Yeah, it's got a lot of charm and character to it, which is nice. Right, can anybody let me know? If you have these, do you have enough cheese? There's not enough. So I had one <laughs> cheese short, and I had one of these the other week, and I was three cheeses short, so I had three dry crackers. Derrily, what's going on? Three dry crackers. Why are you not giving me enough cheese? Charlotte so loves the cheese, don't you? I do. <laughs> We're making our way down to the lakes, go and have a look at that area now. Something that we have noticed with Bluestone so far is that it's very hilly and it is quite a large resort. So they do actually offer some guest transport, which is complimentary as well. Now you can see the map there and this is the route 
that it does. So yeah, it takes you around like the village area where we are now. Obviously we're heading to the lake in just a second. And then you can get the transport through the accommodation and up here to the other main area where the Serendome is and the Blue Lagoon. And of course the main car park as well. So yeah, you can see the times and dates when that runs there. So yeah, that's quite handy. Lots of different nature trails that you can do here as well. You can see the different ones just up there. The Blackpool Nature Reserve. I don't think it's the Blackpool that we're used to. <laughs> well yeah, you can see some of them actually lead off the resort there too, which is quite interesting. You know, notice quite a few of these wicker statues around. This one's a big wizard by the looks of it. He looks a bit creepy though, doesn't he? Oh, he's got his hand out just like this. He's like he's coming for you, Charlotte. <laughs> Seeing all these golf buggies, he's making me want one. Camp Smokey to the left. I believe that's another eatery that they've got here. More trails and then the lake is down this way. And about a five minute walk from the village area is the Bluestone Lake. Yeah, this is lovely. Quite a large lake. You can walk all the way around it if you want to. And yeah, as you can see, do a bit of kayaking over on there too if you want to which is nice yeah of course that will be an upcharge experience and that's how it tends to work here and also at center parks i keep comparing the two because they are very similar really um but yeah of course you can pay for your different activities that you'd like to do in terms of other accommodation here yeah these look really nice like the big lodges you can see them up the top there overlooking the water all the trees really nice setting here for this resort which is lovely and yeah you can see some more lodges all the way around here at the side too it's just nice and tranquil and relaxing. But if you want the thrills, of course you've got the Oakwood theme park next door. Oh, look at this really nice wicker art it's just there. Like, that's fantastic. I love little bits of art pieces like that. And you've got to think as well, like how much time and effort went into making that. A long yeah. time. That's fantastic, that is, isn't it? It's really good. Oh, we're down this little woodland path here now. This is nice down here. Very tranquil, relaxing. And yeah, they actually do that little magical walk down here too, where we saw the actor. They're just behind as we walk past those. Yeah, and they go into all like, these little houses. I think they're like little fairy houses. Nice little thing that they do. I'd imagine that's also an upcharge experience. But yeah, it's nice how they do that. And yeah, making our way down this way. Down towards where it said uh, the Smoky. Camp what Smoky. was it? Camp Smoky, that's it. <laughs> here we go. Look at this. The secret fairy village just down here. Please don't come too close as there's fairies sleeping soundly. Shh. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Little bridge down here, you got the stream. Lots of nice walking trails. Yeah, we'll take a left just here. Camp Smoky, you got the red trail and the yellow trail, which I presume is just a nature walk down in that direction. Yeah, we'll head this way. It's very nice. Wasn't intending walking down a nature trail, but here we are. It's quite nice and relaxing. Don't really know where we're going. But yeah, we'll find out what's uh, happening. Where are we? Well, down here we can see the mini beast. That includes a garden <laughs> snail, a woodlouse, a centipede, the common earthworm, a garden <laughs> slug. Then we've got the other ones around the sides. We've got ground beetle, needle weevil, soldier beetle, <laughs> earwigs. All them we can see on this tree. Talking of earwigs, what have you got in your ear just there? Oh, I can see loads of earwigs. Earwigs? Yeah, oh, loads of earwigs in Charlotte's yeah. ear. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll just carry on up this way. Camp Smokey's down here, apparently. We've been walking for about 15 minutes down here and we've made our way to Camp Smokey. And also you've got the outdoor high ropes course, which is round here too. You can see some of the obstacles above. Quite high this one, you've got the platforms actually built onto the trees, which is really cool. All that smoke over there, I reckon is the little pub that they've got down here too. There you go, you can see some people doing the high ropes. Yeah, it's quite a trek down here. There must be another way to get to this area. I'd imagine so. Looks really good, that does, the high rope course. And yeah, you can actually walk underneath it up there too. Oh no, there's no entry there. <laughs> Evap purposes only. Yeah, look at this. These trees are massive, aren't they? they are. Look at the size of these trees. They must be like 150 foot or something. They're huge. Yeah, there's all your high ropes. It's worth walking down here to have a look. That's the thing, just having a bit of an explore around. And there we go. It's like a little smokehouse pub they've got down here. They've got a fire pit outside there. That's nice. And just down here. Oh, look at this. I do like a good high ropes course. Look at them go. They're wobbling a bit. There you go, here's the little pub. Camp Smokey. Yeah, this is nice. There you go, menu down here. There you go, drinks menu. Oh, is it drinks only? Oh, maybe it is at the moment, I'm not too sure. There you go. Oh, it's very nice down here. Love the little stream running down. 
We've done quite a walk actually. We just had a look at a map. We thought it's quite a long way, haven't we? We have, and then we've got a long way to get back up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the other accommodation is literally just here. However, yeah, we've got to go up a massive um, climb, <laughs> a massive ramp. It's going to lead us up down this way. Loads of wood, the fire pit, our fresco dining. Yeah, I couldn't see any food. I can't smell any food either. Maybe it's just drinks only at the moment. I'm not too sure. Can't see a menu about. Ah, oh, food's just in the afternoon yeah. then. Ah, that, that, there we go then, that's why. Yeah, strolling around here. I think that's nice though, how it's down here. The only issue is, if you have got a dinner reservation down here, it's quite a trek down to here, isn't it? Yeah, and if you've got push chairs as well. Yeah, like, you know, there is a few steps around. I mean, we're going to walk up this ramp, but yeah, it's very quaint down here. I do like how it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Mm. And there you go, you can see the high ropes course behind it. Can't get over the size of them trees. Massive. Absolutely massive, they are. Look at those. Yeah, so we're going to walk up this ramp. Oh, here's the zip wire, is it? The end oh, zip yeah. line, I reckon. Oh yeah, there we go. Starts over there, comes over the stream, and then it's just here. Yeah, they have actually got an indoor area with the high ropes course as well, so we'll show you that. The Seren Dome, which is all covered over. So we're going to have a look at that. Nice with the fire pit. Look at that. What a vista. Beautiful. Beautiful scenery. Oh, here we go. Somebody coming over the zip wire. I can hear someone. Ah, they're on the bottom one. In fact, there's a few zip wires. Yeah, there is. There's one there, another one there, and then there's one right here. Thought that's there was great. any one. Yeah, yeah, that's quite good. Yeah, three zip wires on that. That's good. I'm not too sure if you do them all if you're on the course. But yeah, that's quite cool. Oh, yeah, it's quite a trek up here. Got the big ramp at this side. <laughs> oh, five minutes later, we're still climbing, but there is a bench if you're coming up or down here. So it'd be all right coming down. It's more coming back up. Very nice scenic walk, though, that we've done coming down the other way and then all the way up here. It's about a half an hour walk we've done here through the lovely Welsh countryside. I think we're nearly at the top now. I'll have a look at some more of the accommodation up here. We made it up to the top of the hill. Oh. Hey. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing though, even if you got one of the golf buggies, you won't be able to take it down no, there. Got here. Yeah, definitely. But uh, here we go, here's a look. Oh, another golf buggy coming in. <laughs> some more of the accommodation. They've got here at Bluestone, yeah, so some of them look like they're connected, like these ones. Some of them are like big detached houses. Then you've got Merlin's Crest, which is the new bit for this year. Just opened, summer 2023. Lots of new planting around here. Yeah, these look brand spanking new. I bet hardly anyone stayed in these. These are lovely. Surely that's not one. It must be. Oh, wow, outdoor little terrace area. This is really nice. If you are wondering what the noise is, that's speed <laughs> over at Oakwood next door. So as much as you are in the countryside here, bear in mind you have got the theme park right next door. And I think we'll see Megaphobia, the wooden coaster, around here. Because when you're on Mega, you can see all of this expansion. What they've put in just here. So yeah, bear that in mind if you are coming. That looks stunning, doesn't it? Wow, look at this. And yeah, we're making our way down towards the Booligan Water Park, which is down this way. The activity area, uh, at the Hive, and also the Serendo. Yeah, this is lovely. These are lovely. Maybe at some point in the future, we'll have to come for a few more nights and stay in one of these. Yeah, it's also great how you can park your golf buggy. Of course, you've hired one just outside your accommodation, which is nice. Yeah, all the pathways and roads are all lit as well. And because cars are only allowed in on check-in and check-out days, it means you've not got loads of traffic to worry about. So if you are bringing kids, you can just uh, have a nice stroll around knowing there's not cars. We've also got the electric chargers to charge your golf buggies outside. That's cool, isn't it? That's so if, you, if it dies, you can just charge it outside your accommodation. Yeah, I mean, these, these are one, aren't they? They're massive. These, I mean, how many? We have to have a look, aren't we? I mean, it was a bit of a last-minute booking, this one. Like I say, £99 for one night in the apartments. Wow. But... Yeah, I'd like to come and stay in these. Obviously, they're going to be much more expensive, but yeah, really interesting. There's Megaphobia, just over there. All the times I've been to Oakwood next door, I did not realise how big Bluestone was. And obviously, it's had this expansion for this year, but still, looking on a the map, they've got a lot of older accommodation that's been here for quite some time. I had no idea it was such a big resort. It's probably a similar size to Centre Parks. It is huge. Like, you don't realise. Like, these are lovely. I'd love to stay in one of these. Like, that'd be great. Obviously, it is a bit more noisy down here with the park. Fine for us. That would sell this accommodation too with a megaphobia view, especially with Oakwood not having on-site accommodation. Um, but you've also got to think, hopefully, this will help out the park. I mean, having all this extra accommodation here, they're going to want to go to the park. But worth pointing out, if you do want a more relaxing kind of break, uh, in the wilderness, you can hear the park quite a lot from here, so bear that in mind. But I think you can book 
the different numbers. So you probably want to look on a map. And if you want something a bit more tranquil and relaxing, book one a little bit further back. Yeah, you got megaphobia just there and speed. And literally, you're, you're the park is like, what, 20 feet around the other side of there? So yeah, I'd, I'd have one of these ones there. That would be great for us. Megaphobia view. Number five. Yeah, I'll have that one. Book me in. Oh, we're up on the car park area now for Merlin's Crest. So yeah, you've got the main car park on the other side for the older accommodation, also where we're staying in the apartments. And then you've got a separate car park for Merlin's Crest just here. It looks like they're still finishing those ones off. And so uh, yeah, look at all the golf buggies up here. Oh, I love the golf cart. Have you noticed how they're a different colour depending on where you're staying as well? Yeah, they are. These are blue. Yeah, different colour. There we go. There's the Seren Dome where we're heading down to and the back of Megaphobia at Oakwood. Hey, it looks like a junior wooden coaster from here, doesn't it? <laughs> and if you head over to the theme park worldwide, you can see our on-ride footage from Megaphobia. Much bigger when you see it from the other side. Oh, we've had a good walk around for an hour or so there, haven't we, Charlotte? Oh, absolutely shattered. If you are coming, <laughs> I definitely recommend getting one of the golf buggies to get you around the resort. Yeah, it is really hilly in some areas. Of course, you've got some parts where you can't yeah. use it, but you can just park it up. Um, yeah, it's a big resort to walk around, so bear that in mind. I'll definitely get one of these. Have a nice little drive around. <laughs> We're going to check out some of the other main facilities here now. You've got the activity centre just here called the Hive, uh, the Seren Dome, and then, of course, going to end with the Blue Lagoon. You can see why there's literally hundreds of these around. And yeah, a lot of people put little flags on there and stuff. We've seen like birthday ones like this one at the end. Oh, like, yeah. how nice is that? Or oh, yeah. <laughs> Spaceman Balloon on the side. Yeah. That's brilliant, that is. And yeah, you've got all these parking areas, which is cool. Yeah. This is a fantastic space in here. Welcome to the Hive. Massive play area for the kids. Yeah. Bouncy castles in here. You've got the climbing wall over here too. And yeah, you've actually got one of these zip wire attractions right at the top. Where you come down just here and swing side to side all the way around. That looks good fun, doesn't oh, it? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, that's it. Yeah, you go up to the top. Oh, it goes around this way, did it? I thought it went the other way. You walk you up to the top, then you come all the way down, all the way around here, which is awesome. Right then, Charlotte's going on. I'm gonna give this a go. I've always wanted to do one, so you'll see me whizzing around. I'm gonna film you. Yeah. <laughs> it was 15 pounds for one go on here. I don't know if you get multiple goes or not, we'll find out. I think it's only one lap round. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's quite expensive, but oh, you got your little oh, token. There we go, Charlotte's going on. <laughs> there we go, Charlotte's getting harnessed up. Yeah, you can see all the harnesses just down here. Make sure she's nice and secure. She's gonna head up these steps, clip on. And make our way round on the adrenaline zip line here at Bluestone. There she is getting all clipped on. Make sure that she's secure. I like how she's wearing green as well to match the track colour. But yeah, he clipped onto it, but also you got to hold the two ropes at the side by the looks of it. She's always wanted to do one of these. So yeah, I'm glad that we're getting one in. We didn't know they had one here. That's the thing, a bit of a mystery. Of course, operator just making sure she's all checked and secure. And up she goes. <laughs> You excited, Charlotte? <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see her go flying. It's quite high up there. You got to take the leap of faith. And there she goes. <laughs> oh my God! Look at her go! <laughs> flying through the air. Where is she? <laughs> Oh my god! That looks so much fun, that does. As she comes into the face. Adrenaline, feel the fear and do it anyway. Oh, blimey. And here she is! Yes, you get two goes that on there. That was so much fun. It was quite scary. I wish it was a little bit longer, but that was so much fun. I loved it. I'd like to see more of these around, actually. That was just brilliant. It's like spinning, it feels like you're flying. Yeah, what was the sensation like when you came off the top here, it like jumping really off? Weird. Drop a little bit, but then you start spinning through the layout. It was really good. It's like seven pound fifty a go, then really. Quite thrilling, actually. Yeah, you look a bit flustered. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed that. You, it's good fun. You got your wings there as well, which is good. Birds. Yeah, I think the thing is, it's when you go into that first corner, you really go jolt it side to side. Surprise. Yeah, like it's kind of like a, a, a bit of a drop just here, isn't it? Yeah, that was great. I love watching Charlotte on that. So, yeah, it's quite expensive, but really, you think you're getting two goes for fifteen pound? Yeah, that's pretty good. I reckon, is it two goes all the time, do you think? Or I just think it's so, quiet? Maybe so, yeah. yeah, it's good value, oh, that. Really the thing is, they've got you all harnessed up and everything, haven't they? You know, so it's no real effort to send you around again. But yeah, that was good. Yeah, it was when you came onto this bit, that's where it really took you. Yeah, 
<laughs> and then you've got all the play equipment just down here, which is really nice. We're going to go and check out the little bowling area that they've got also in here now. Oh, this is quite funky in here with all the UV paint and UV lighting. Yeah, the glow zone, this is called. Let's a look at the bowling alley just here. So, yeah, just got the four lanes. Just mini bowling, yeah, it's not full size. But yeah, it's something else that adds to it in here. Yeah, it's quite nice. I think you book all your activities in the app or you can pay downstairs. That when Charlotte went on the zip line, you, know, you can pay for that downstairs. Oh, we love these. This is a proper retro one. Yeah, we all the lights around the side. In the glow zone. It's always dark in here, it's nice. And that's a little look inside the hive here at Bluestone. We're making our way down to the Seren Dome now. This was only built a few years ago. Discover, explore and create. And this place down here is fantastic. So I'm looking forward to showing it to you all. Now I remember seeing this being built from Oakwood next door a few years ago and I was always intrigued to come and have a look around it. Welcome to the Seren Dome. So this is something that we really need more of, especially in the UK with our weather, even more so down here in Wales. This is a big kind of activity and entertainment space that's all covered over. And this is fantastic in here. We've been advertising for Christmas already. I can't believe it. Like only a few months, Charlotte, the tree will be going up. Oh, I can't believe how fast this year's going. Well, I've been in our new house a year yeah, soon. I can't believe it. Crazy in a year since we moved in. Yeah, this is a great space all around here. A few little gift shops, giftorium. Nice. Play area just over here. There's a few little eateries. You've got the creperie down here. Yeah, this is just a great space because it's all weather fun. If it's sunny, you're still going to get a nice breeze coming in. But if it's absolutely throwing it down, you can also still really enjoy it too. But yeah, you've got a giant chess over there that you can play for free. Quite a few different play areas. And then you've got the other high ropes course that good, that that's looks. undercover. Yeah, this one's got a couple of bicycles that you can see on there. Let me give you a bit of a zoom in. You can see some of the different obstacles. And it's not quite as tall as the one down in the forest on the trees. But in a way, the fact this one's undercover, it's better for all weathers, really. Lots of seating in here. In a weird way, it reminds me of like an, a, the Butlin Skyline Pavilion, but done differently. Yeah, see where I'm coming from? Stuff, yeah, yeah, like little buildings, like the bar and stuff over there. The cover yeah, it, it's kind of like a, a Butlin Skyline, but obviously more fitting in with the nature here. But yeah, it's very nicely done. Let's go and have a look around the bottom. What a beautiful space. It looks like they have live music down here sometimes as well with the speaker set up just over there. Bar area. I like how we've got some weird kind of contraption going on at the top. <laughs> Get here coasters on the other side. Yeah, really close to the park. It's nice how you can combine the two together for a visit. Lovely flowers around here. We've also got Folly Farm that's a great day out that's nearby. We've not gone this time. I mean, we've been last year, we've gone quite a few times. We thought we'd freshen it up this time uh, and give it a miss for a year. Um, but of course, yeah, it is a fantastic attraction. We've got vlogs on the channel, including one from last year. So make sure you check it out from Folly Farm, Adventure Park and Zoo. They've got some really nice vintage rides down there too. A little play area over on the left. It's like a big tower that you can climb up there, another activity. This is cool, isn't it? The ball run, four pounds. Tap your card, pull the lever, and let the good times roll. I see, yeah. So it's all this contraption just over here. Your ball goes round, like all around this. That's quite interesting. Let the good times roll. roll. He does, skunk. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually a theatre, and they do shows in here. I believe that some of them are upcharge, including the one that's running over summer at the moment. We'll have a look around here. It's just nice areas for the kids to play. And of course it's all undercover, which is fantastic. Yeah, quite a lot of seating in here, just eateries around at the side. There's a little fish and chip shop around here too. Garn box milkshakes, ice creams there. I just think this is a really nice concept, what they've got here. Yeah, there's a little look at the, the venue. It's all blocked in, but uh, yeah, because obviously the shows that are paid, they don't want you to see them if you haven't paid for it. But yeah, it's quite a big theater just in there. Sand pit down there, some more play equipment for the kids. And yeah, as we continue around here, you've got the little food court over at the back as well. Yeah, it's great how it's all undercover in here. Got the little chippy over there. I might have a few chips actually. What do you think? Should we have a few chips? Oh yeah, it's gonna have a few chips from here. And then we're gonna head into the Blue Lagoon water park shortly. Oh, can we see the venue up here? I think we can. There we go. There's no show on at the moment, so we can have a little peek over just to show you what the venue's like. There you go, so you've got all the seating down here. Big stage at the bottom. And yeah, the show that we're in at the moment is called Henge, just for the summer, the journey of the Blue Stones. 
Oh, we just had some nice chips, two ninety-five for a large chips, and yeah, they were lovely. Got some little go-karts in here too. Little photo opportunity. Just around here, that's quite nice. Dome sweet dome. <laughs> Another little play area over there. What a great indoor space. Yeah, and this only opened a few years ago. And we're gonna go and check out the main event now, which is the Blue Lagoon. Not the cocktail. <laughs> we like, oh, I'm getting what with the trees. Yeah, we like a good Blue Lagoon cocktail. But yeah, we're gonna head around that way now. Unfortunately, I don't believe they allow filming inside. Centre parts you can do, but I don't think they allow it here. Uh, however, there is some promo footage that I found um, on their official YouTube channel. So I'm gonna put in that footage for you all so that you can see it. But we're gonna have a look at the exterior. And yeah, we'll uh, give you a full review, of course, of what it's like. Let's go and check it out. Blue Lagoon. Archery just over here on the tournament field. I'm good at archery. Oh yeah? <laughs> Yeah, it's quite a nice area. They've got a lot of activities here. Massive resort, it really is. Much bigger than I was expecting. That's the thing from over at Oakwood. You only see part of it, don't you, at the front here. I didn't realise how large a scale it is. That isn't one of the water slides. That's drenched at Oakwood over there. <laughs> yeah, let's head around this way. Water park looks really good, so I'm excited to check it out. Oh, feet first at all times. Thank you. <laughs> I like the announcement. Feet first on the flumes. Charlotte might have to worry about that one though. I won't be going on. No, it's a shame you can't use a GoPro in here, but uh, completely understandable. There's quite a lot of uh, swimming pools and water parks in the UK that don't allow filming, so that's fine. But there is some official promo footage. But yeah, they've got four slides in here. They've got the indoor pools, a wave pool, there's an outdoor rapids the lazy river, and an indoor and outdoor hot tub, I believe. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing all this. And there's a look at some of the slides over on the outside. And the entrance just here. So yeah, during your stay, you can go in as many times as you want to. You don't need to book a slot or anything like that um, for the Blue Lagoon. So yeah, we're going to make our way inside. And of course, we'll see you when we come out. Here's some official footage showing you what they've got inside here. So you've just seen some official footage there of the Blue Lagoon Water Park. We've been there for about 60 minutes. I'm just going to talk about it now and share a bit of a review. So of course you've got all the changing facilities, lots in there. You've got the single ones and also the family changing rooms too. You've got the lockers which are one pound. Uh, the not refundables we found out, didn't we Charlotte? Yeah, I couldn't get my pound back. <laughs> yeah, it takes your pound off you. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, quite big lockers. You've got some small ones and some larger ones in there too. You make your way in, uh, quite a nice shower area. And of course you're greeted by the main area itself. Inside under the dome, um, you've got the main wave pool, which is fantastic. That's probably my favorite part of the water park. Large wave pool. It gets quite deep down the bottom. But what makes the wave pool? It's also got a lazy river uh, kind of attached to it. Um, and then, yeah, it actually starts off inside, heads outside. You've got a couple of little waterfalls and water effects, and then comes back into the main wave pool. So, yeah, the main pool there was fantastic. Along with that, there's a small hot tub inside. Could have been a little bit warmer, that one. Uh, it was a bit chilly, wasn't it, Sean? Yeah, uh, it was a little bit chilly. Yeah, it would have been nice if that was a bit warmer. Um, off to the side you've got two other kids areas um, with some interactives and uh, yeah some buckets for the kids to play with and tip over. Outside you've also got a separate hot tub that was really nice and warm in there. Oh we loved that one. Yeah out of the hour or so we spent in the Blue Lagoon that's where we spent the most time in that hot tub and uh, yeah worth pointing out it was really quiet in there wasn't it? Like, I was expecting it to be really busy but it just wasn't. Yeah summer holidays we thought it'd be packed in there but uh, to be honest we've not seen that many people about here at uh, Bluestone you know it was quite quiet um, which meant no cues for the slides so I went on four of those um, you've, I started off with one of those body slides which is inside this was the longest out of them all um, it was a, a light one this one so you could see through the tube um, it was alright it wasn't anything spectacular some drops uh, and a couple of helixes then right next door you've got two other body slides and these ones are in the dark and they were quite intense see I was going around there a pretty steep drop and yeah they were alright uh, and then the main slide um, was another body slide they've got no dinghy slides here they're all body slides and yeah with this one you made your way down in an open tube and it actually had a couple of different pools outside that went it went into as well which was really weird so you kind of built up a bit of speed then came to a stop 
then built up speed, then stopped again, then came down into the final landing pool. But slide-wise, nothing spectacular, but they were all right. I didn't queue for them, which was good. But uh, there you go, that's the water park. Uh, I think it's quite nice in there. However, it could do with some TLC. Uh, as soon as you walk in, you can see, you know, parts of it are looking a bit faded, a little bit moldy in some of the pools. It was a little bit chipped down at the side. So yeah, it could do with some TLC in there. But um, it is nice, it's not themed. It would be nice if there's a bit more landscaping in there, some big tropical palm trees and that sort of thing would add to the experience but overall it was nice uh, it's not somewhere that I'd visit more than once really coming here um, when you go to a centre parks we normally go in the pool every day don't we yeah know, we do uh, with this one we spent 60 minutes obviously if it was busier I would have waited for the slides but uh, yeah it was okay it needs some investment to clean it all up a little bit uh, however um, yeah it was nice you know I just think you know if you spend the money on it um, it could be better maybe a little bit more variety in slides would be nice but obviously that does cost money but yeah it was a nice little visit there uh, to the Blue Lagoon, seen it for years, so I wanted to check it out, and uh, yeah, it was nice to give it a go. Lovely and sunny out here now, and yeah, I've just noticed they're actually recladding some of the outside just there, so yeah, hopefully they're fixing them issues, because yeah, it was a little bit mouldy around at the side, so it looks like that is being done, which is good to see. But yeah, we're making our way now back up towards the car park, and we'll wrap up our vlog here from Bluestone Resort in Wales. Well there we go, we've made our way back here to the car park after our one night stay here at the Bluestone Resort in Wales. It's been really nice hasn't oh, it? I've really enjoyed it. I think the whole resort is really good but I didn't realise how big it was. Yeah it's huge, like you definitely want one of the golf carts to get around. If we ever came and stayed here for more than one night we would definitely have a golf buggy. Oh 100%, it's just so much easier to get around on one of those. Yeah the resort's much bigger than I was expecting. It's also hillier than I thought it would be as well so it's worth bearing that in mind if you are coming here be prepared to do some walking up the hills they got some really nice nature walks and trails down by the lake was really nice and of course our accommodation was fantastic oh, i think that was so nice it was just so spacious as well which was fantastic and we slept so well we did like that was perfect in there that big bath was lovely really enjoyed that and uh, yeah along with that as well they've got all the different upcharge activities that you can do your water parks included as much as the water parks in my opinion wasn't spectacular certainly not as good as at center parks it still adds something you don't have to book it was really quiet in there when we visited as well um, which was great but uh, overall it's a nice resort you've got your food options and the other accommodation especially that new area the Merlin's area oh, looks that great. Oh so good they look massive I'd like to see some photos inside of there. Yeah well let's have a look because it was very last minute this literally booked it a few days ago to be honest we've been waiting for some nice weather before coming into Wales it's haven't we? Today. It is yeah it's been nice weather whilst I've been down here no rain which has uh, been good it really has but uh, now I definitely recommend a visit here I'm sure we'll come and stay at some point in the future as well and of course stay tuned for lots more vlogs here on the Sandbrook Adventures we are so close now to 100,000 subscribers uh, literally with days or weeks away so honestly so thank you so much for your support uh, we really do appreciate it as always we've got lots more videos coming up as we continue on throughout summer 2023 and of course if you haven't already head over to theme park worldwide where you can see the vlog from oakwood theme park which is right next door here to bluestone thank you very much for watching and, and have, have your, your own, own adventures. adventures see you in the next video